Okay, so here we go. Round two, follow up. Um, I read the comments from the last video. Thank you to all the comment uh, commented, even the bad ones. Uh, it was pretty interesting. Um, most were positive. Um, a lot of them were positive and just had wished that I actually showed the footage of how I took the handle off and how I installed the uh, snap-on handle as well. Um, there was a few negative comments. Uh, it was pretty interesting. Some people felt that I owed them a um, bit of entitlement, uh, thinking that, hey, you owe me this video and you owe me to do this right. I want to put a little things in uh, to perspective. I got home from Florida at one in the morning and by probably about noon that day, I had decided I wanted to do a quick video um, as I just got all my tools home. Um, I had to do it holding the camera with one hand and uh, so I, I did the best. I didn't think the video was going to do as well as it did. Um, all my other videos leading up to it only got a few views and no comments. So I was pretty surprised, uh, a little flattered to be honest. So here you go. I opened my wallet and I invested in a stand. Hands free now, baby, which is awesome. And you know, if you guys think I liked holding on to the phone, kind of like I am right now, uh, but trying to work, I didn't. Uh, I got this on Amazon here. It was about 50 bucks, which is awesome. Anyways, um, so to everybody that watched the last video, I'm gonna do a follow-up video and here it is. Let's get to work. This part of the uh, how-to goes out to the one guy that made a comment. He said, listen, I know how to boil water. I don't need you to show me how. Anyways, I kind of thought that was funny. Um, so I'm going to put it in again, just for you. Anyways, uh, another thing I wanted to add, the, uh, the goal to this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pull this handle off with just heat and heat alone, no tools. I could get away with that with the snap-on um, ratchets they had a completely different type of plastic uh, for a handle compared to this Pittsburgh Pro this Pittsburgh Pro it's plastic it's like and this isn't a slight or a knock at Pittsburgh tools but it's almost like a toy plastic whereas the snap-on had more of like a plasticky uh, like a bit of a rubber to give it that soft grip and it was just it just felt so much easier um, and it was really more affected by heat uh, as compared to the last time I tried um, on this ratchet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in the water for a good long while and let it boil. I'll let you know how long I had to um, leave it in. And then I'm going to take it out to the garage. I'm going to clamp it in the vise and I'm going to try uh, with gloves on and try and pull it off. Uh, that's the least destructive way of doing it. And I'll tell you why. So the water is starting to boil. I'm gonna give it an honest 10 minutes and then pull it out and put it in the vise. I really wanna get some heat to this and I'm really hoping that I can pull it off by my uh, just with my hands. Got my gloves ready. If this handle comes off easy, then the hardest part of this will have been waiting for the water to boil. All right, here we go. Okay, let's lock this in the vise nice and tight. The good thing is it's got a nice flat side here, unlike snap-ons that are more cylinder-like, so I'll be able to clamp down on it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how easy that's coming off. Look at one-handed, just rocking it back and forth, nothing to it. Let's see if I can move it closer. Look at that, awesome. Yeah, oh, we got a little bit of adhesive. So that's what helps it stick. Right on. Okay. Very nice. So I guess uh, boiling the water was the hardest part, just the waiting. All right. So this is where my video takes a little bit of a turn now that I've got the handle off. Um, I'm not going to be putting a snap-on handle on this ratchet. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because I'm not actually going to keep this ratchet. I've used this ratchet a few times. And I'm just not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. It's not a knock against Pittsburgh Pro. 
I mean, it was $30 Canadian when I factored in the exchange. And, um, you know, I mean, you can't beat a price like that. Um, I wanted to try a different style of wrench, uh, the indexing. I, I know Snap-on makes one, so I was just curious. But I'm just overall, the quality of this tool, I'm not a big fan of. And um, I just, yeah, I don't know. It's just a little, it's a little flimsy. And I, I don't really like the curvature here. Um, I already have some Snap-on um, ratchets that have that curvature. So I decided I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to reinstall this handle and I'm gonna show you how I do that. And so here's what you would do. If, if, if I were to put this on, because I didn't show the last one. So I would take this and I get my calipers here. The digital's not working, the battery's dead, so I'll have to do it the old manual way. And I would measure the inside uh, diameter of the handle. And the inside diameter is about 12 millimeters, or for my American friends, about half an inch. I actually prefer talking in inches and feet over metric. Um, a lot of Canadians do, to be honest with you. But uh, anyways, I thought I'd give both. I probably wouldn't drill this handle out to half an inch. I would go slightly below. Same thing, 12 millimeters. I might drill this out to, say, 11 millimeters. Um, and then all you would do is just measure the depth of the uh, the inside, how far down it goes. You can either do it that way. Let's see. Well, it goes down quite a ways. Almost out. So, yeah, you can measure the depth here, and then that is how far out you would have to drill it quite a ways boy that's no that doesn't make sense sorry go by this go by this they, they've i didn't realize this snap on they don't drill right to the bottom uh, i think they stop about halfway apparently pittsburgh i just discovered they go all the way to the bottom even though the shank or the shaft here uh does not so i would probably go measure that much right there you could even go like this, gauge it here, make a little mark there. Make a little mark and then drill down accordingly. And that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. You could, uh, I would do it in steps. I wouldn't do one big one right at the beginning. I would just uh, do incremental uh, drills. So anyways, now I'm going to go throw this back in the um, pot of water for a little bit, uh, boiling water, and then I'm going to reinstall. Okay, I've got my handle out. Um, I'm going to use some of this Gorilla Super Glue just to replace the adhesive that came out um, due to the heat. So this is all bunged up here, so I'm just going to dabble some on here, try not to get it on myself the same time I even do this yep that's gonna work just nice there we go perfect even better I'm gonna take my gloves as the handle is still hot and I gotta line up the Pittsburgh in line and I'll just give it some friendly little taps. Making sure it's lined up. It's bottomed out. I'm just gonna look down at here. It's perfect, back on. I'll let it cool and the handle will shrink and it'll be on there nice and tight, just as good as it was. Um, I'll show you a little trick I was going to do. In the event that I couldn't pull this handle off with the heat, I didn't realize it was going to be as easy as it was. I was thinking of a backup plan, and my backup plan was this. Well, I'll show you here. I was going to take this wrench, and I this is a 15 millimeter, and I was going to put it just like that. 
so that it rests right on top of the ridge here of the handle. Um, I was going to lock it in the vise like so. And then I was just going to apply some nice taps like this down on it. And I, I was hoping that it wasn't going to damage the ridge of this uh, handle. And it, well, obviously I didn't have to worry about that, but um, it's great. I'm glad with how this turned out. I'm gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna just do a, uh, just uh, close this video out. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm just gonna close this video out with this. Um, I really enjoyed doing this video. I've enjoyed actually every video I've done. Um, thank you very much for all the comments. I'm, like I said, very flattered. Um, I'm glad this could help people or give them some ideas. Um, I wanted to say that I didn't do this to, I know some people, they're probably just joking around or saying that, oh great, you know, I can go on eBay now and sell a bunch of tools. Well, you, if you fooled somebody by putting a snap on, um, a snap on handle on this, then maybe they deserve it. Because if you know anything about snap on tools, uh, they're clearly marked with the tool serial number, the made in USA, um, you know, there's there's a huge difference. I mean, just I could I could be have my eyes shut and tell a snap on um, ratchet from another uh, brand, but um, I just uh, I really like these handles. Uh, they look great. They come in a, a variety of different colors. I like the old school look to them. Um, I like the way they feel. That's why I started doing this. Uh, these that's why I started doing these conversions. Um, in one of my next videos. I'm going to do a toolbox tour and you'll get to see all my tools. Um, and I do have quite a few ratchets uh, that I've done this conversion to. But um, yeah, I've got a better idea for these handles. So if anybody's disappointed that I didn't put this on, don't worry. I've got something coming up very soon. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that video. I've got a couple more in my head uh, that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Anyways, if you guys like this, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you want to see. Give me some ideas uh, of things that you want to see. I'm just posting up things that I do. I mean, that's why I started this YouTube channel. It's because I, I'm always working in my garage. I'm working around my house. Um, so I just thought, hey, why wouldn't I share this? Anyways, like, comment, and sub subscribe. Uh, this is Armchair Engineer, out. Peace.